It's David Fleming here from the Toronto Realty Blog. And stop me if you've seen something like this before, but I wanted to get your opinion today on something we've talked about multiple times. As I'm walking down this really gross alleyway covered in spray paint, not a lot of garbage and stank. What do you think about this? This is a condo. I'm not going to say where this is, but that's a balcony. And there are others up there, of course. But let's say specifically this one right here on the second floor that is literally overlooking this alleyway. Now, right there is a grate from parking underground. You get all kinds of noise, all kinds of pollution. But let's say that there were two giant garbage bins there instead. What all of a sudden do we make of this unit? Is this a unit you would consider purchasing? Now, a lot of you will say, no, I wouldn't. But let's say you're on a budget. The conversation goes to, what would you discount this unit at? What price would you pay for this unit relative to another one? Because it is overlooking this alleyway. And we've seen terrible alleyways before. This is not that bad an alleyway. You get a lot of noise from the street. You've got AC units here. But how much would you have to have this unit discounted to say, I don't know, one at the very top, maybe over towards this side with a better view, to be overlooking an alleyway? We've talked about a lot of things before, overlooking the Gardner Expressway, for example, overlooking another person's balcony, but overlooking an alleyway. And again, let's say that there were two giant garbage bins sitting right there. Of course, I wish there were because I got the idea for this blog yesterday when I was doing exactly that. But let's say there were two giant garbage bins. How much of a discount would you have to get to buy this unit overlooking this alleyway? And is it sellable? Can you resell it down the line? It's a rhetorical question, folks, because honestly, I would probably look elsewhere.